If you use a Mac with a Windows keyboard, you've likely got confused with the modifier keys. These keys are Control, Option, and Command on Mac keyboards, and Control, Windows key, and Alt on Windows keyboards. Today I will show you a way to remap the modifier keys without installing anything on macOS. I have macOS Sonoma with the new system settings instead of the old system preferences. However, this method works with older macOS systems. First, make sure that the external keyboard is already connected. Now go to system settings, scroll down until you see a section called keyboard and click on it. Click on keyboard shortcuts and click on modifier keys. Because I'm using a MacBook, I already have an internal keyboard. If you have a desktop Mac, like a Mac Mini or Mac Studio, you may not see this option. So make sure to choose the external keyboard that is connected to the Mac. Here are all the modifier keys that you can change. These three are what we want to change. macOS by default maps the keys of the Windows keyboard to these options. The Windows control to the Mac control. The Windows key to the macOS command. The Windows alt to the macOS option. However, not everyone likes these options, because on Windows keyboards, the Windows and the Alt keys are flipped if they are mapped in macOS. This will confuse old Mac users who got used to the Mac keyboard order. You can change these modifier keys to whatever options you like, but I came to conclude that there are two ways to set them up to use them efficiently. The first way is to use the same order of the Mac modifier keys, so the Windows control stays as the macOS control. The Windows key becomes the macOS option, and the Windows Alt becomes the macOS command. This way is for people who are already used to Mac keys order. You can use Windows keyboards as Mac keyboards without any issues. The second way is to make the macOS modifier keys work in the same order of the Windows keys order, so that the Windows control becomes the macOS command, the Windows key becomes the macOS control, and the Windows Alt becomes the macOS option. This way is for people who like the order of the Windows keys instead of trying to get used to a new order of the Mac keyboard. On your Windows keyboard, you can press Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste in macOS like you would normally do on Windows. If you want to know how to send files via Bluetooth in macOS, then watch this video next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.